Do you know anything about the Baca Pyramid? The incomplete masterpiece is one of Egypt's greatest mysteries. What is the history of this construction project? We'll be seeking the answers to these questions in today's video. Keep watching to the very end to discover one of the uncommon facts about this abandoned building. One of the greatest record-keeping civilizations in human history was the ancient Egyptian one. When discussing their most notable architectural achievements, the complete lack of records leaves us in wonder. We are still fascinated by that fascinating civilization with its magnificent structures and culture. These magnificent structures have drawn a large number of visitors from around the world. Archaeologists are always searching for these incredibly rare secrets. The colossal unfinished pyramid of Baca is a structure in Egypt, Zayat el Arian. The identity of the original builders is uncertain. This pyramid is located in the northern region of Zayat el Arian, some 8 kilometers southwest of Giza. What is the pyramid's history? The monument's early descriptions were produced between 1842 and 1846 by German Egyptologist Carl Richard Leptis, who muddled the main shaft and the surrounds and identified the pyramid as number 13 on the pioneer list. The Italian archaeologist Alessandro Basanti examined the pyramid shaft more closely in 1904 and 1905, when Gaston Maspero, then Director General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities of Egypt, visited Barisanti's excavations, he was astonished by the building's enormous size. From 1911 to 1912, Barisanti continued his work at the location, but the First World War halted all discoveries, and Barisanti passed away in 1917. Because of this, nothing was done there until 1954, when a set was required for the well-known movie Land of the Pharaohs. The Baca period was chosen as the movie's backdrop because the Zotet El Arian landscape was thought to be the ideal setting. After that, the sand and trash that had been there since Zanti's discoveries were removed from the shaft and the area around it. The pyramid superstructure. The pyramid superstructure is almost completely unknown because only in its square, subsoil made base was finished. The exact plan slope and size cannot be determined because no capping blocks or pyramids were ever found, and the pyramid's bases were always larger than the pyramid itself. It measures 200 by 200 meters and exhibits evidence of the surrounding plinth, which is preserved by the limestone covering it. The pyramid couldn't have been planned to be much smaller than it was, so that is true. The monumental structure. Halfway down the chamber's length, a grand staircase descends. Unknown use is made of a horizontal surface on the staircase. Smooth wall lines the shaft, but the chamber was never finished and the walls were never covered in stone. Only the floor had been completed and it was paved with enormous granite blocks. A strange vat was found close to the chamber's west end. It was inserted into one of the stone's blocks that made up the chamber's floor and its oval. Since the vat is too large to fit through the chamber's entrance, it must have been brought in at some point while the foundations were being built. The vat was found sealed according to an oval lid that was found in place. King's name primary issue is correctly deciphering the name of the Karatoch, which is contained between six ink engravings. The upper and consequently second hierographical character is undoubtedly K-A symbol. While the first sign is unintelligible, sadly the Digger Alessandro Basanti did not create any copies of the characters, but instead created quite shaky hand drawings, leaving the first hieroglyphic undetectable. Some even advocate using a giraffe as an example because it was once thought of a smart and schematic animal. Instead, According to George Reznor and Judan van Beckrath, the pyramid was intended to serve as a tomb of Baca, a known fourth dynasty prince and the son of King D. Jaffa Fri. In Ram hieroglyphics, Baca's name is written along the K-A sign. Becca suggests that after ascending to the throne, Baca changed his name to Bakart Sol and Ka of Ra before passing suddenly, unexpectedly, and leaving only an incomplete tomb behind. As a result, Reznor and Bakrath pronounce the anamic name in Zotat Yal Arian as Baca Hiska is his Ba. Instead, Aiden Dustin interprets the name as Seth Ka Seth is my automobile because he sees a seated Seth beast. They contend that the pyramid was intended to serve as Prince Sekto's grave, a free son of the Jetta. Dotson asks why the title of the Carthage in the Zarian El Arian does not have a solar signal when it was supposed to represent the sun god and suspects the reading Becca. However, is there any proof that it belongs to the fourth dynasty? Regardless of the correct theory, the Baca pyramid would be firmly dated to the fourth dynasty. Barisanti also claims that the fragments of an oval sarcophagus similar to the one was discovered in the Jetta Free Pyramid's ruins. 
Additionally, according to Reisner, Dawson, and von Bacharath, the Decata Free Dedicatory Tablet that Barsanti is alleged to have discovered next to the pyramid stairs in Baca is evidence that the dates from the 4th dynasty. Additionally, Urban L. Otto and W. Hulk point out that although it's striking how similar the designs of the Pyramid of Baca and the Pyramid of Di Jetta Free are, Di Jetta Free's pyramids was nonetheless unusual for the 4th dynasty. Thus, it is impossible to verify the dates of the 4th dynasty using Digital Free's tomb design to a point of comparison. Egyptologists eventually disagree with Barasanti's estimation of the magnitude of the pyramid's base. They believe the size of the pyramid was less than Barasanti and Leptis predicted. The professionals must become familiar with the chosen archaeological style. However, as was already established, there is disagreement among specialists as to whether buildings started in the 4th or 3rd dynasty. The location has not undergone a recent specific investigation. But why did the Egyptian military choose this location of all locations? To establish an exclusion zone, and why did the satellite appear to show that the burial site had been gradually filled over time, even though some specialists claim numerous cavities have yet to be found? When and if the site will ever be the subject of excavation again are currently unknown.